Digital Romance TV. Hey folks, how are you? It's Michael Fiore along with the lovely and talented Cassidy Lyon. Hello! Another video for you and today we're going to talk about how can I spice things up and keep him into me until we sleep together. Bum, bum, bum. Because a lot of women, of course, don't want to sleep with a guy on the first date or the second date, no matter how horny they are. Exactly. Or maybe they do, but at the same time, you got to keep them waiting a little bit. You got to keep them waiting. You got to make them want it in some way. Mm -hmm. So, Cassidy, what do you recommend for people who want to keep a guy into you before you sleep with them? Well, the words are super powerful, words right? Super so powerful. you can use texts. You mm -hmm. can kind of dirty text and play with him and tease him a little bit. Mm -hmm. With your words, that will keep him into you. So the main thing is that sex is mostly mental. Mm -hmm. um, for men, as much as for women, um, the vast majority, I think especially for men, the, they've actually shown that women physically enjoy sex a lot more than men do. Mm. Uh, weirdly enough. That might be because women are more in touch with their bodies oftentimes, plus women get to have you know multiple orgasms exactly. and all that other kind of thing. Um, but for men, a lot of it is about giving and receiving pleasure and also feeling attractive and all those other kinds of things. Um, I've of course written several programs on texting mm -hmm. and how to use texting to cause these things to happen, like text your wife into bed or text the romance back. And I find that um, using text messages during the day, especially when a guy's at work or out with his buddies, sending him cute little things like, I can't stop thinking about your dot 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 winky course, face winky face yeah. is a good way to go as well um writing little letters writing little emails teasing a guy sending him mm -hmm. little videos or pictures oh that, yeah that's great that's you can use any really form of private social media you can snapchat him you can mm -hmm. play with really anything just to keep him wanting more wanting even though more. he hasn't had the whole thing yet. and it's about building up the anticipation right mm -hmm. um, as a guy i can tell you there's actually nothing less attractive than a woman kind of throwing herself at you sexually. I've had that happen before in the past. It's really fun for about five minutes. And then eventually you're kind of like, I feel like I'm being used here and I don't think this is really about me. Um, it's about being coy to a certain exactly. degree. Exactly, coy, mm -hmm. being coy is very sexy. Yeah. What does coy mean? Coy means it's 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 you're not giving up everything. What's the exact definition? I forget the exact definition. We wrote it down. I the looked other it up day. the other day. Yeah. You're working on something. <laughs> but being coy is kind of being um, innocent in a way, playing a little bit. But you know exactly what you're doing. You know, it's kind of like you know looking like this a little bit mm -hmm. the entire time. But there's lots of ways to keep a guy interested. But again, it's all about the mind, right? It's all about the mind, and it's all about um, tickling the erotic part of a man's mind in a way that is way more powerful than porn or anything like mm -hmm. that. We actually have a program that's all about that that we call the Language of Desire. Create by the lovely and talented Felicity Keith. Why don't you talk about that program? Yeah, for a and Language of Desire is great. It really gives you a lot of information about how to tickle your man's uh, erogenous zone in his mind by using text messages, by using words, how you can talk to him and keep him reminded about what you gave him or what he gave you over and over again during the day when he's at work or he's doing something he really shouldn't be thinking about it but he's going to be thinking about you the whole time you can also use it when you eventually do sleep with him in exactly bed. then you can just keep using it because dirty talk in bed is a wonderful thing so just click the button that you see on your screen you can go learn more about the language of desire and also uh, we got another video coming up for you a keep watching video that i did with uh, nora some time ago for some gr more great advice on when exactly exactly the right time to jump into the sack with your guy is, click the keep watching button. We tell you exactly how many dates, how long it should be, etc. It's a big question. People are always like, when should I sleep with somebody so he'll respect me and want to date me? And we answer that question if you just keep watching. So don't do anything. Just stay. Just <laughs> wait. You'll see me again, but younger. It'll be great. Hey, this is Michael Fiore. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to learn how to make a man sexually obsessed with you without even touching him, just by saying a few simple words, just click the link on your screen right now and learn about our fantastic program called The Language of Desire. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. Bye.